we discovered a new problem. Our galley tank, kitchen sink, is leaking somewhere, somehow, in the gray tank below. So in order to find out what's wrong with it, we have to take it apart. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go down that road. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And he is ready to tackle this project that we have no clue what is going to be underneath that protective cover. That's the big thing is the protective cover is got rusty and holes in it and everything else. We don't know why or how it happened. Hoping it's not the tank itself, but we won't know that till we get into it. <laughs> so this is just galley tank water. Why is it so dark? We don't run hardly any water in our galley. We always collect it in a dish pan and a lot of times we throw that down the toilet. That's surprising. And that it's so dirty. That's really weird. Okay, Gary is sawing the drain pipe first because it all has to, it's all kind of connected, so he's got to do that in order to take the cap off, the protective cap off. black tank is what is the toilet tank and the the other gray tank is for our shower and bathroom sink the part that Gary's working on is the galley which is for just the kitchen sink the fact that it had so much water in there Gary thinks it's because we don't have a lot of water in the galley tank usually and that uh, when we dump the tanks we're not at a best angle to get it all out. That's what he thinks. But there was an awful lot of water that came out in those in that bucket. So I don't know. We're not sure where it's coming from. <laughs> being held up by your buckets and your wood, right? Yep. Good plan. Okay, so Gary got to thinking, how is this all connected to the inside? So he's taking everything out from under the sink and he's going to disconnect the drain. Nothing in an RV is easy to get to. <laughs> They're made by little tiny elves, so they are able to get into things and under things much easier. Let's the pipe go through it, and I just have to be able to pull that tape off. But it's very sticky stuff.
Ready? Yep. It turns out there's a tape that goes around that pipe that I cut off. Okay. So I didn't have to cut it off. Okay. But it's gone. <laughs> oh. And it just drops down while I had to get around the wires. Is the, the wires itself too. Okay. Is the do you need some tape to tape them up? I will. Okay. Yeah, before we can go anywhere, but is the insulation wet? Uh yeah. I'm just gonna drop the other end down and I'm gonna slide it out into the yard. Okay. And we'll end up bagging up whatever's wet. And then what's the actual tank? Oh it's not what I thought. This is the tank. It's not, I think that's not what I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a clear, yeah. but it's still plastic. Yep. Okay. All right. Hoi. So the, the insulation on this part was all dry. There was no problem there. It's just over on this end. Yep. So that should at least narrow down where the leak would be coming from, because it, it's just the one end then, right? Probably. But as you can see, this is where it got banged. They went over something or backed over something or whatever they did. That's before we bought it. Yes. And then all those scrapes and everything on there, they must have scraped on some rocks or something. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I don't know what that's from. Or just rocks coming up because it's right behind the tires here. So they may have broken something and let moisture in there over the last ten years that just eventually rotted the tin. <sighs> I don't know how we didn't see this before. That's just well, I saw it. I just didn't know that it was. I saw it. I just didn't know it was a problem until the water was dripping out. Because there wasn't any water dripping out before. <sighs> okay. Because it's going to get rusty on the bottom. I mean, we know that. The other two are rusty on the bottom too. That's just that's just nature. Yeah. But um, but the fact that it leaked that was that's the issue. When they whatever they bumped into with this through the years, it might have broken the seal around the pipe. And just let water run in there from the tires and over the years it just rusted okay because it doesn't look like there's any water drip from the top down it looks like it all came from the bottom and from around the pipe but we will see well that's that's good news though that that's not the tank and it's not anything on the tank itself it's just it was just the this part that might have been an issue bad news is that i cut the pipe when i didn't have to no, we have to fix that before we can test the drain. Oh, okay. So I'm smarter now than I was before. <laughs> Gary found this in the insulation. <laughs> Ew. Found his way into a nice cozy spot. Oh. Never got out. Oh, yuck. Yuck, yuck. We've had what two mice in all the years we've had this five this going on. This, huh? This is the third one. That's the third one. He he kind of bit the dust. He didn't make it. Okay. Well, that's good. So, yeah, wonderful. Okay. So Gary is replacing the cut off. PVC pipe that we didn't have to cut off because the tank cover, whatever it's called, we can't find what it's called anywhere, uh, that would have wrapped around that pipe and you just taped it off and he couldn't see that until it was off. It was in an awkward spot. So he's replacing that PVC pipe right now. Uh, we have made some phone calls. To find out what that thing is called. Nobody seems to know what we're talking about. We have looked online. We have looked everywhere. I went through all of our information that came with our RV and there's nothing in there either. 
including the owner's manual, including the itemized of, uh, sheet of what was all included in it when it was brand new, and the standard things and the add-on things. It isn't even listed there. We think it's called an insulated holding tank, but we don't know, we don't need the tank, we just need the part that goes around it. And when we called a couple places, we're gonna to have to find a metal fabricator to make one custom made. It's really important because what we have found just from the damage that was on that cover, whatever it's called, that it really protected from rocks hitting it and, and all kinds of things when you're going down the road. We're going to need to get something to protect that, but we're having a hard time finding it. It's amazing that nobody knows what we're talking about. <laughs> I'm like, the newer ones are up in the underbelly and they're protected there. So the mesh stuff that covers the whole bottom is what the newer ones are like. This is not under anything. It's just exposed to the elements and that's why it had this protective cover over it. When we search for something that says protective cover for gray tank, the only thing that comes up are propane tank covers. And that is not what we're looking for. And going through the owner's manual, I thought, well, you know, rather than going through all those individual papers like I already did, I'm going to just read through this a little more. It's very generic. And it doesn't give any specifications on anything. In fact, the only thing I found out was that we have about a six gallon gas water heater. We do not know, Have we just are guessing that our fresh water tank is about 22 to 25 gallon. We don't know for sure. We have no idea how big the black tank is or the, or the bathroom sink and the shower. We have no idea. And it's not anywhere in any of the information that we got from the company. We're going to try calling Jayco themselves. We called um, an RV place to get information from them. And we're going to try just calling directly to Jayco and see what happens and see what we can find out from them. Okay, so Gary's got the elbow back in. Now we're going to have to see if it's leaking outside. That's, okay. that's the plan, right? Yes. Should probably go and see. Can I fix that? You've got a drip, and is it on the tank or on the, what, the PVC pipe you just put on? Well, it doesn't. Looks like it's the PVC pipe. Yeah. Okay. But it's coming out. I have to, gosh, I have to redo that. And the saga continues. What did we discover about white PVC pipe? Well, as I mentioned before, I'm learning and a lot by trial and error. So I found out that white PVC pipe solvent or adhesive, whatever it's called, does not work with ABS piping, which is the black pipes that go from the tanks, the holding tanks to the outlet. So I'm calling around trying to find ABS piping and couplers that'll help me to splice it together. And then of course, whatever adhesive type thing they have that'll work with it. And so far I get, uh, no luck. Frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we haven't been using our galley tank, um, which we isn't a big deal. We usually, like I said before, we put it in a, a bowl 
usually anyway, and then just throw it out or throw it down the toilet. So that's not such a big deal, but it is a little little extra being careful that nothing goes down there. Yeah. And then uh, with the cover that was underneath the tank, got all rusty and what started this expedition in the first place, <laughs> is uh, there uh, was suggested that maybe the Amish in the area could do some manufacturing of a tin replica. So got to get a hold of the Amish, see what they can do for us and what kind of cost it's going to be, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to start with the Amish guy that helped us with our water damage on the back side of the RV. Well, wow. that's where I'm going to go and see if I can find some people that can help us out. Yeah. See where they direct us. Yeah. So. And time is a ticking here. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting really frustrating because everything is happening when we're supposed to be getting ready to leave. It's never like this. Never. Yeah. Nothing ever, <laughs> ever goes, nothing ever goes smoothly towards the time that we're supposed to be leaving every fall. Which is probably a good thing because then we're getting things fixed before they break and before we head on the road. That's that's nice. It's yes. always always good to head out in reasonably good shape. But it's not always stuff with the RV though. It's no. it's stuff with family and other things too that always seem to happen in in late September and October. Well, that's when we notice it most because that's when the time crunch comes in. Well, and the yeah. and the weather changes and all right. kinds of things too. Alrighty, today you're going to go find the Amish guy and see if they can help you the adventure continues and still looking for the black abs piping yes okay after we found out that the white pvc and black abs don't work together well and the uh, ad adherents don't adhere <laughs> as well uh, I would go back to get some ABS pipe at, at Menards the piece that I had to get was nine inches long and that's the piece there that is in place right now and hopefully will be connected when the glue dries on this end if you've ever wondered about something you wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole <laughs> I just bought it and this is uh, now nine inches short of that because I only needed nine inches. But I got this whole thing now. I'm so excited. And we don't know what we're going to do with it because hopefully we'll never need it. You're going to have to do. It'll be here. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll be wherever we are. Wherever we are, because we can't fit it in our bay. <laughs> but I might take this much with me. That'd be a good idea. Now we just pray that this coupling will go together when this glue dries and that will dry and God willing we will have no more leaks all right it's been a day we've been running water down the kitchen sink and there's no leaks so that part is finished now we're just waiting on the part that the Amish guy is making yes and hope that will go well we trust so all right in the meantime, check out other videos somewhere up here or on the next page probably. Mm -hmm. Check out our Facebook page. We have some fun pictures of a vintage RV show we went to recently. You'll want to subscribe so you know how this turns out. Just hit that red button down below. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you would have done. And until next time, God, God bless. bless.